All right, in this geek tip, I want to show you how to check your hard drives for errors in Windows 8. There are two ways of doing it, a standard and an advanced. So first of all, let's do the standard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a, an empty spot on my start menu background. And I'm going to right click on it. This is going to bring up the app commands bar. I'm going to left click on all apps. And I'm going to scroll over and I'm going to find File Explorer. I'm going to left click on it. This is going to bring up Windows Explorer. I'll go over here in the left hand pane and I'm going to select Computer. Over on the right hand side I'm going to right click on the drive I want to check for errors and I'm going to select Properties. I'm going to go over here to the Tools tab and I'm going to select Check. Normally I'd click on scan drive and be rocking and rolling. If it's a boot drive, it'll prompt me to restart the computer and do a check disk when it restarts. And if it's in use, it can't be uh, checked. So right now I'm going to go back to start menu and I'm going to show you how to do a more advanced check disk. So we'll go back here to the start menu. Again, we're going to right click on an empty spot of the start menu background which brings up the app commands for the start menu. We're going to left click on all apps. This time we're going to go over here to the command prompt and we're going to right click on it which brings up the app command bar for this particular tile. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select run as administrator. We're going to say yes to the user access control and there we go. We now have an administrator command prompt. At this point, we can type in check disk. I'm going to do a forward slash and a question mark. This will show you all the syntax for check disk to be run at a command prompt. Normally, let's clear the screen here. Normally, I just use check disk with the drive letter forward slash R. That does a complete repair, tries to recover any bad sectors and blocks and tries to recover any files that are, are corrupted. That's basically it normally. It'll prompt you to, if it's a boot drive, to do the check disk on next startup since all the files are in use. For more geek tips, you can go on over to geeksinphoenix.com and uh, take a look through all of our, our Windows tips. We've got Windows 8, 7, Vista, XP, some general, uh, we've even got some Android, hardware, miscellaneous, oh, we've got all sorts of stuff over there. So when you get a chance, go on over to geeksinphoenix.com and give it a check. All right, hope you enjoyed this and have a great day.